Now let's consider the use cases uh, for the NetX90. That is, uh, the various ways in which our customers use the NetX90 to implement their, their application. We're going to start in the first case with the single chip model. And in this case, NetX90 is providing all of the resources, both for communications and for the product's application. Uh, on the communication side, the NetX90 communication handles all of the um, protocol required for the bus. And on the application side, all of the computation to implement the rest of the product is done there. We might choose to add extra flash and SDRAM along with the NetX90 in order to take advantage of extra features of the protocol stacks, such as maybe a web server or an OPC UA server. In the communication side of the NetX90, all of the software and all of the hardware resources, of course, are provided by Hillshire. Those resources include uh, a dual port memory handler to handle the interaction between the application side and the communication side. There's the protocol stack for the particular protocol that one wants to implement. Um, we have our own real-time operating system and uh, hardware extraction layer inside our communication side that talks to the communication hardware that Cortex-M4 for the, for the on the communication side. Uh, and the, the microcode and, and the uh, processors that make up the communications process. All of that is handled by Hillshire and provided by Hillshire on the communication side. On the application side, the NetX hardware, of course, is provided by Hillshire. On top of that, Hillshire also provides the CIFX API. This is a set of software that helps to abstract the communication between the communication side and the application side into a set of convenient APIs uh, that make the development of the user's application code easier, simpler, and more straightforward. Uh, it might be possible if to add a optional uh, real-time operating system on the application side. If this is completely optional, many of our customers tend to uh, use no operating system at all and go bare metal. So this is the simplest form of using the NetX90 and the most direct. Next we're going to continue consider the first companion chip use case. If you recall we, we said the old NetX chips were companion chips. That means they were network processors that were intended to be used with a host processor. In this case the NetX90 is uh, using only the communication side of the part. Uh, and it is connected to a host processor which is provided by the developer uh, through a spy bus or through an address data bus to externalize the internal dual port memory that we talked about in a previous slide. So the interactions between the host processor and the communication side of the NetX90 happen over this internal dual port memory. In addition, uh, we can again add flash and RAM as necessary. And again, all of the resources that are used for managing the protocol are, hand, are provided by Hillshire. NetX90, since we're talking just to the communication side, looks pretty much like a black box. That is, the host processor doesn't have to worry too much about handling the protocol here. That is all being taken care of by the communication side of the NetX90. But in addition to the uh, resources needed for the communication side, the application side has, uh, again, a host hardware that is provided by the developer. Uh, maybe he adds a third-party real-time operating system. On top of that, the CIFIX API is provided by Hillshire to help uh, implement the user's application in the most uh, uh, efficient way possible. In this case, though, we've also added the CIFIX toolkit. The CIFX Toolkit is, a, is a, a series of software that helps to abstract the, any hardware or any operating system so that the CIFX Toolkit will be able to expose the same APIs as we would if we were using the chip internally, going just between the application side and the communication side of the processor. So in this case, the host processor here 
will act just like the application side did uh, of the NetX90 in the previous use case. Next, we're going to go into the companionship to mode. In this case, we're, we've changed things up a little bit in that the host processor is still talking to the communication side of the NetX90 through the extended dual port memory, uh, either a SPI bus or an address data bus. But in addition, we've used a peripheral to connect to the application side of the NetX90. And here, the application side of the NetX90 might be used to offload some tasks that are burdening the host microprocessor. So using a peripheral bus of some sort, communication happens between the host and the application side. And the application side just looks like an external application processor. As far as the resources go, uh, as before, Hilscher provides everything needed for the communication side. And the host processor is, as before, um, using um, a third-party hardware and operating system using the Hilshire toolkit and API and the user writes his own application on the host processor. The next case we're going to talk about, the last case, is companionship 3 mode. Now in this case, the difference is that the control of the communication side of the NetX90 is controlled by the application side of the NetX90. And all of the communications work is being done here. The host processor doesn't have to worry about anything related to communications. It simply talks to the application side. And the application side may be abstracts even further or pre-processes perhaps data that might be used by the host processor. This is a perfect situation for uh, somebody already has a system that's been running for a long time. It's been using a host processor to run uh, their product. And now they want to add a, a chip to put their product onto a, um, uh, an Ethernet or uh, some other kind of uh, bus, industrial bus, but they don't want to have to learn anything about the, um, the, or they don't have to burden their host processor with uh, details related to the communication. They only want to get the data that they're looking for. In this case, all of the communications can be abstracted into the NetX90, and the host can just look at the NetX90 as another peripheral and uh, talk to it through an extended peripheral bus. If we look at the resources again, communication is provided by Hilshire. On the application side, the user has to write his application just as before using the SIFX API. But this is a different application than this one down here. There's minimal impact to the user's former application here. Uh, all of the impact to add the communication can be put into the NetX90 itself. Well, that concludes looking at uh, or the typical use cases in which the NetX90 is used.